Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans and today I want to show you how to configure your second streaming encoder. Now if you have a TriCaster TC1 or a VMC1, you've had a second streaming encoder for a while, but if you're able to put the new Advanced Edition version 3 software on your TriCaster, you just got added another one. So let's dive in and take a look at how to configure it. Alright, so here we are in the TriCaster interface and right now I just want to show you how to set up what stream is going to be getting what source, okay? So for that, let's open up the output configuration of our TriCaster. And from in here, right now I have my mix number one. Let's go ahead and assign that video source as my program video. And the audio, we'll keep that as master, okay? Now on mix number two, I want to use my uh, mix effect number two, which is me over here in this uh, weather format over here, so I'll go ahead and assign that to my mix effect number two. There we go. Okay, so now mix one is assigned to my program video, and mix two is assigned exclusively to my mix effect number two. So those are the two different broadcasts that I want to send out to different sources here, okay? So, uh, underneath our mixes here, you'll see under stream number one, I can assign that to a particular video source, so it wants to follow one of the mixes that we already have configured. So I'm going to keep that as my mix number one and leave the audio the same way. And then on my second streaming encoder, stream number two, let's go ahead and send it mix number two, which is what I am on my ME2 here on my um, weather show here. Cool. All right. Now, let's go ahead and configure those streaming encoders. So for that, let's go to the top of the screen and click on the gear icon next to stream and encode. And from here, you'll see that on number one, that stands for streaming encoder number one that's on our output configuration. And streaming encoder number two is our secondary streaming encoder. Cool. So for on each of these, if you want to set those up, uh, you just click on the gear icon next to these, and this allows you to go through and assign what kind of resolution you want to use on these with some of our presets. Uh, so you can go all the way from low, medium, and high, which is some of these default ones in here, or you can go through and type in a specific uh, resolution. So you can stream out in a square format if you want, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can also set your bit rates from here, frame rates, uh, etc. All right, now that's for what I'm going to be doing on encoder number one. But encoder number two, let's have that be a completely different output. So for this, we're going to say 480 by 480, all right? Cool. And then we'll say OK for that. So now, if I want to have my uh, weather report being streamed out to a couple different locations, for example, Facebook and Vimeo, all i got to do now is, after I've logged into these particular pages, just select them. So now, my weather report on number two is going to be going out to these three sites, so Facebook, Vimeo, and a little custom page here. And number one, I can have that, which is just me on my virtual set right now with this new tech logo behind me. Put check marks next to those. And now I have two different shows being sent out to six different pages. And then all I had to do is click on stream here at the top, and you're off and running. So having a secondary stream output is really convenient for you to have a separate show altogether, or say you want to have the exact same show, but layer in, say, a sign language interpreter, or have a specific camera input going through, or a media player. The sky's the limit. It's really up to you how you want to have this done. Now, if you like this tutorial but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com slash demo to sign up for a personalized demonstration by yours truly, and I'll show you all the ins and outs of our TriCaster systems. Also, be sure to follow us and tag us on Instagram at New Tech Inc. And check out our YouTube page, youtube.com slash New Tech Inc. for more videos like this and customer testimonials. Until then, thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.